What is up, party people? It's Dan, your basement guitar superstar. Today, I am very, very excited to bring you the Holy Grail. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, you've seen my unboxing video. This is a vintage V100 HSVB, um, the 25th anniversary edition. You'll notice a headstock there. So, um, they vintage is a company that I am very, very impressed with. I own three of their guitars. Now, including this one, you've probably seen the other ones in some of my videos. Um, let's talk about the guitar here. So it is the same silver burst finish on the back and the front. It's a mahogany body and neck. It's got that little groove in the back here. So if you want to play leads, you can. I usually don't because I'm more of a rhythm player. It's got a double ivory binding here if you guys notice that. Very, very awesome. Um, Wilkinson ceramic dual humbuckers here. Got your uh, two volume, two tone knobs. They're not coil split on these guys. Notice your bound ivory fretboard here. You got your perloid inlays. And these actually do not have Wilkinson tuners on them. They have Grover 14 to 1 tuners on them which I thought was kind of interesting. Still great hardware. I love Grover stuff. Everything they do is awesome that I've seen so far. But, uh, yeah, we will plug this guy in, show you how it sounds. The nice thing about these, they only made 100 of these. So for the 25th anniversary, Vintage released, obviously, this series of guitars. You have 100 of these Les Paul style guitars, a hundred Telecaster style, which are also silver burst, all three of them are, in fact, and then 100 of the Strat style guitars. Now, the caveat with that is most of those got released in Europe and the UK, obviously with Vintage being a UK company, that makes sense. I scoured the internet to try and find this. Charlie Busatil, my friend at Band-Aid Music on the island of Malta, had this in stock. Was totally cool about sending it to the U.S. So Charlie, if you're watching this, thank you again for hooking me up with this beautiful, beautiful guitar. I was not sold on the silver burst finish at first. I bought this actually as an investment, but the more I play it, the more I love it. There's just something about this finish that as soon as I pulled this out of the bag, I was sold. I was like, I can't believe I ever thought that finish was ugly. But anyway, this is a very fantastic guitar. I will plug it in and show you some of the tones with it. I don't think any of these will be left available when uh, this video publishes, but I always go on Reverb and check. Uh, I would rather, honestly, own this than one of the Gibson Adam Jones copies of it. I know that's probably blaspheming among guitarists, but hey, who cares? Um... Yeah, I, I don't know what else I haven't talked about as far as hardware goes. Oh, it's got like your standard Les Paul style bridge, the floating one, only the Wilkinson hardware. Um, clear tone knobs and volume knobs here. Got your rhythm treble and middle circuit there. So anyway, let's plug this guy in. I'll show you how it sounds. I'm going to be playing through a trainer YCV40 valve amp like I always do. It's my go-to amp. I absolutely love the way it sounds. For distortion, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to use the Warbird, which is the new uh, uh, volume boost pedal from my buddy Danny Kreider over at Noise Pollution Pedals. Give you an idea how that one sounds. I will actually be doing a separate preview video of that, but we're going to hook that one up and show you how it sounds um, with that as the distortion pedal. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Let's go down to the uh, floor I'll show you how this guy sounds. All right, folks, thanks for joining me down to the floor here. We got the uh, uh, silver burst all tuned up and ready to go. Let's give you some clean tones. <laughs> circuit. Let's try a little boost on for good measure. On the Warbird, I have 
have on the boost side, I have everything set at noon. Same thing with the overdrive side. Um, we are not going to mess with it too much at first. I'm just going to turn the boost on. <laughs> That was the vintage B100 25th anniversary silver burst. Let's talk about what my final thoughts are on this guitar. I obviously love it. You could probably tell by my guitar face while I was playing. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is this does have a very thick C neck. It's not quite Louisville Slugger thick, if you know what I mean by that. Um, but it's kind of your standard profile. If any of you are familiar with the vintage lineup of guitars, the V100s usually have a pretty thick neck on them, and this is no exception. It might be just a skosh thinner than those. I'd have to check. I can't tell just by looking. I have a Black Beauty sitting over there. But anyway, I really love this guitar. Um, I'm going to give this probably a 9.2 out of 10. Um, the finish, like I said, blew me away in person. I thought it was uglier than sin when I looked at it online, but... It's a really beautiful guitar. I'm really bonding with it big time. I actually, I own three vintage Les Paul style guitars now. This, the 
V100 PBB, which I did a video of, I'll post in the description below, and then a V100 Ice Tea Burst Les Paul style guitar. I love all of them. I'll probably pick up a Strat and some other ones too, but uh, to me, Vintage can do no wrong. Trevor Wilkinson is an amazing designer as far as hardware and pickups go. You guys saw that. This had a nice, clean, crunchy, mid-rangey tone to it. Uh, hopefully you'll agree with me on that. Post in the comments below what you think of these guitars. I know there are going to be some Gibson snobs out there that are like, well, it's not a Gibson, so it sucks. You're always going to have your critics. But I love this guitar. I will never get rid of this. I bought it as an investment, but I'm playing it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to keep it as mint as possible, but... I also, it's kind of my go-to guitar that I pick up when I'm at my house. So, anyway guys, thank you as always for joining. Like I said, I'm giving this guitar a 9.2 out of 10. I absolutely love it. And if you, by some act of God you can get a hold of one, I think you will too. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the little bell symbol for me so you know when I have new content coming up. It helps me grow the channel and get in front of more people here and on Instagram and several other places too, and I'm trying to grow as much as possible, just like everybody else is. So anyway, guys, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Did you like the video? Did you not like it? What can I change? What can I do better, etc., etc. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have fun playing.